Hello there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Doc Martin and you're watching Fearlessly Living. <laughs> So I hope you're here because you just watched my recent video on my review of my pediatric rotation. Now this video is going to be on how I studied for my pediatric shelf exam. Um, it wasn't too, I think, okay, well let me just jump right into it because now I'm about to just start blah, 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 blah and you don't want to hear that. Okay, this is going to be a short video. I'm going to get right to the point, at least I'm going to try to. Uh, this book was very helpful. I use a uh, step up your assembly step two CK on the go. Like you'll see that the sides are kind of folded because this is the book I usually have in my bag. Like I'll read it on the on my way uh, to my rotation, my way back from my rotation. I'll be reading this book. Um, I read it when I volunteer. I pretty much carry this book around with me everywhere I go. Because it's small compared to my first aid book, which is a lot bigger and heavier. So this is why I carry this book around. And this, I like this book also because it's short and it's to the point, but it's very informative. Like they give you a lot of information. Actually, this sticker here is from Peds. I'm gonna switch it to a site because my site shelf is next. But um, yeah. So what I did was I have U World. I did all of the pediatric. Uh, questions in you was about 400 or so a little over a little less uh, 400 questions I did all of those questions I wanted to do them twice but I did not have enough time to do them twice I only did it once I did all of the clinical mystery series on the NBMB website however I did didn't do it from the website I did offline ones because I mean they're 20 bucks each they really aren't that expensive but then it starts to add up and then I'm like, well, I could just come and get this online. This is terrible. Is it terrible? Oh, gosh. Okay, well, anyway, I did all of the CMS, I think they're called Clinical Mystery Series questions for pediatrics. I believe there are four of them. And they're 20 bucks each on NBME website. Um, what else did I do? So I did you world while I while doing you world questions I use both books. So when I actually go to like I take my step up and my first aid with me to the library and my computer of course. So while I was doing you world I was look referring to both uh, step up and first aid for answers. I would say however I don't like this first aid for step two. I prefer the you the first the first aid for step one was much better compared to the first eight for step two. It's missing a lot of key, a lot of things that I think are very important is missing. But however, it's definitely, whatever is missing in first eight is definitely a step up. So I use them together, um, which has been very helpful to me personally, I think. So you will, the actual study materials where you will first aid, step up to step two CK. Those were like my three most important things. I started doing lecturial, but then my free chat expired, and I'm trying to figure out do I really want to buy it because I bought so many resources for step one that I feel like I don't want to overdo it for step two. Like I don't want to buy so many resources. Like I want to actually use the ones that I have in full. Like I want to like read it two, three times over. So if I spread myself too thin with all of the resources, I might not use all of them properly. So that was my fear. So you were all. Step up to step two CK and step up to step two. I'm oh, sorry, and first aid step two CK. Um, those are the things that I use. And like I said, as I did questions, I will refer to these and I also took notes. Oh, one very, very, very key thing that I'm missing is online med ed. Online med ed it is the plug, okay? Because they have um, free videos. And the videos are awesome. They're short. If your attention your attention span is like mine, those videos are for you. Like, I mean, this guy goes right to the point each time. My friend told me that they were excellent for psych, so I'm definitely gonna be using them for my psych shelf. Um, they helped me a lot on my pediatric shelf. Although I didn't finish watching all of the videos, I just had so much going on. 
and I'm gonna do a video on like the day in my a day in my life or a week in my life because I have so much going on that I just kind of like didn't have as much time to do everything that I wanted to do. Um, what else? Uh, all I met at U Worlds first aid step up. I think those are like the four tools that I really use to study for myself. And like I said, I did the online clinical mystery series for pediatric shelf exams and I actually they were very helpful as well. And so with you world, you was actually helpful. I think you was quite helpful. But of course people have different, you know, theories on that kind of stuff. Usually when I do you world, I do um, a whole block. I do it in two or more because I want to really take my time. But of course I answer the question my best ability and I read all of the explanations. Sometimes I even go back and read the questions to try to find clues that I missed the first time. Take notes from there, add it to my books, and um, just try to get like the full use. Like I read everything, every single word. I don't just read the ones that I get wrong. I don't just, like I read everything. I read stuff I get right, stuff I get wrong, stuff I already knew, I read it again. Because you never know. I don't know, the repetition is key. So I read everything. Um, yeah so that was pretty much it and i think it was helpful like if you've never done chef exams before pediatrics was my first chef exam and it was three hours long 110 questions with no breaks and knowing that when i went in i was like, okay i'm not gonna drink too many fluids but i also have to eat because i don't want to be like brain dead when i get there like, i want to feed my mind <laughs> i don't want to be well nourished when I get there so I can think properly. Man, I got to question 70 and I had to pee so bad. So I'm sitting at the edge of my seat like this. Still trying to answer these questions to the best of my ability. I got to a point where I was like, you know what? Let me just hurry up and run through these questions. So I ran through the questions and I had like 20 minutes left and I answered all of them. But of course I checked the ones that I was like unsure of or was not too sure about. Ran to the bathroom, did an unauthorized break. I was like, hey, I really have to go. So the lady, she was so cool. She's helping me. She was like, I just heard the sign here. And I literally ran to the bathroom. I almost ran into a wall and ran back in the testing center to finish my exam. But overall, the question, the content wasn't too bad. I only had one question on milestones. Like I said in my pediatric review video, um, I wouldn't waste excuse me I wouldn't spend too much time on that like just read over a few times get the key points down things that really stand out and keep it moving don't take a whole day memorizing that stuff I only have one question on it and I think I also only have one question on vaccines so those two don't waste too much time we just kind of know a good range and know like and you what was great with these because they had a lot of questions on like you know, so and so kid, and they tell you the age, and they figure out okay, they didn't have their last vaccine for this, so it could be these viruses or whatever. So, you know, it was helpful. You were was definitely helpful. First aid was okay. Step up to medicine. Step up to USM. Step to CK. I really love, and I will be purchasing step up to medicine once I start my medicine rotation. But for now, these are really good sources, coupled with. U World and Online Mad Egg. They were excellent. Those were like the four things that I used. And I did not do the clinical mystery series questions until I think a week before my exam. And I did the most recent one like a day or so before my exam, just to be fresh. But um yeah, so that's what I used and I was happy with my results. I passed. I did well. <laughs> so um yeah. That's what I used to study for steps, uh, sorry. That's what I used to study for my pediatric shelf exam. And I'll say one more time. First aid for steps to CK, step up for steps to CK, U World and online med ed. And I used NBME Clinical Mystery Series for Pediatrics to test myself. Once again, thank you guys so, so much for supporting me and coming to my channel and watching my videos. I hope they're helpful for you. I'm trying to put out content that's relevant to me and also relevant to you to help you on this journey as a medical student. And I hope that you're doing well. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below in the comment section. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.